Hi, in this video we learn about abstract class in Java programming. So we'll see one by one in more details. Before that, what we need first, first we need to install a Java in your system and Eclipse. And I'm assuming you have a basic understanding of here Java programming or if not then that's also fine but just install that java and eclipse in your system and i have already explained in my earlier video how to install the java and eclipse in your system and now i have already opened that eclipse i have created the project i'll do one thing i'll delete it i'll do it from scratch now what we need i have already opened the eclipse then while opening the eclipse first we'll need a definition so abstracts class is a type of a class which have the abstracts and non abstracts method as well it may be that uh, um, um both of them is not there like empty um, body which ones don't have any like and uh, methods like abstracts and non non abstracts method and in abstract class just like a simple class just we have to add that uh, abstract keyword in uh, before that a uh, class and in abstract uh, before the if we are going to define that abstract method then we have to put the abstracts we'll see in more detail so what i'll do i have opened that eclipse just go to the file then new then you have to click java project and just you have to type that a project name anything whatever you want i'll just put, put that a abstracts class demo so while putting the abstracts class demo then we have to type that in project name you can type anything relevant to that your project and select that whatever java you have installed i have installed jdk 1.8 so i'm using it i'm using that working set if for you is not applicable just uncheck this item click on the next after that it will ask by default for you it may be that uh, bin directory will be there so you have to browse and select it or type again what you have to do finally you have to click finish after that project got created by default src folder will be there source folder and the array system library so this is the default library required for runtime which is a part of a jvm you can see that my um, earlier video for more details what we need to do after that creating this we need to create the some package one calculator class then simple calculator displayable and advanced calculator so first we'll do create that a simple calculator so right click on that src go to new then go to class then name type the name of a class calculator type the name of a package like a com dot yet to i am using i have typed that a com dot a to z examples name of the package name of the uh abstracts class is calculator and after that you have just select that uh, abstracts over here and if you select the final along with abstracts you will get that error cannot uh, uh, class cannot be final or uh, abstracts both because if you declare a class as a final that will be not a subclass and in abstracts class we have have some abstracts and non abstracts method so if there is any abstracts method is there then we have to must implement in uh, subclass so with help of that both is like in uh, different directions abstracts and final one is saying that uh, uh, i have to uh, like ex extend second one is saying that no i i will not allow so i'll remove that i have to select that only i have selected only like abstracts then click on the finish nothing is required after that we got that uh, default constructor this is not required as of now i'll remove it 
after that just click control shift and s got formatted control s is save and then control shift s control shift f formatted then save it now we got that tab asterisk class if you go and run nothing is there because there you know main method and all so we add that one abstracts method like what just i have added that abstracts void print now and uh, we'll, if you'll remove that abstracts or if you remove the keyword from abstracts class what will be there the error message will be there the type calculator must be abstracts class to define that abstracts method if you define that any abstracts method inside that any class it will ask this class must be abstracts until unless we cannot define that abstracts class we have to uh, declare that abstracts method we have to define it so the abstracts we have to put that before class until unless this will not work if i'll remove over here abstracts keyword then what will be happen so now you'll see this method required a body instead of a semicolon that means it's asking we need a body then the error will be go uh, gone now so if you don't want to put that a body then we have to put that a abstract void print so we have a abstracts method now now we'll define that non abstracts method So we got that one abstracts method like a print method we don't know how to how we are going to print for different different format different print all so we'll let it be for implementer class they will define that a print method so as per definitions uh, uh, abstracts class is stated few of the things we know what to do and how to do whereas we don't know few things how to you know what to do and what to do then we have to use that abstracts class now we already defined one print method as abstracts one our non abstracts method as a add so this is all about in brief abstracts now we'll add that one interface and we'll extend it inside this abstracts class or before this one we'll add that one simple calculator will extend this abstracts class so for this uh, what you have to do for leading that another class just you have to click on right click on package go to new then just go to click on class type the name of a class add that a public aesthetics void main argument let it be don't put that anything click on finish we got it remove that a constructor which is not required or if you even the required let it be so now we created one simple class will extend calculator so while extending we'll get the message it's saying that the type simple calculator must implement the inherited abstracts method calculator dot print so calculator dot print is the abstracts method we have to define over here until unless if will not define it will be that error error will be compile time error will be there so what we'll do we'll uh, define that okay so this is that way you can instead of going just add that unimplemented class so it's overriding and that that is a for pilot one just put that some message print now everything is gone like error message if you'll run this one we'll get that a print okay we have to create the object of a simple calculator now okay 
so we got that uh, object now we'll get that with help of uh, that add one comma two and obj dot print so with help of uh, that this uh, class we are able to see that both method and printing implemented in a simple calculator likewise we will create that advanced calculator and we'll extend the calculator and we'll add that something like that so before that i'll just go and remove this one so i'll add that a final then i'll comment this one okay now while adding the final it says stated that the type simple calculator kinds of class the final class calculator reason why is calculator class is a final and we cannot initiate it so due to that i say that a final and abstracts is entirely like in a on in, in, that will work in a different directions so one is stated that we cannot subclass one is saying that you have to must you must uh, you have to have to subclass it uh, like uh, extend it now we got this one so we'll create that one interface for seeing that how interface will be behave for the uh, uh, this one so i'm sorry for that so for creating the uh, what we need to do that we'll see that one displayable interface just right click on that package go to new then interface click on the interface type the name of interface and click on finish now interface got created we'll extend that one display method and now with help of this display interface we'll extend implement sorry we implement in a calculator abstracts class now in calculator abstracts class we implemented so this is the interface it's saying that that method is not required to uh, Im implement or override it whatever's over there in abstracts class because in abstracts class we put that abstracts method and whatever's in interface all method are by default interface except java 1.8 we can define that default method and aesthetics will uh, you'll see that in different in, or you must uh, will uh, see that in my earlier uh, video now we are getting that uh, error what is that compile time the type simple calculator must implement inherited f6 method displayable dot display because this interface we have implemented in calculator abstracts class and this class we are extending in simple calculator so we have to have implement this method as well over here so what we will do just go over there and implement that on implemented method now error gone so just right click and enter uh, run it then you'll see that uh, output just put that some message over here okay then once again right click run ads then java applications we got that a print and display because we didn't call the display again go right click run ads then java applications so this is all about abstracts class in java programming if you like my video uh, then like it and share it and don't forget to subscribe